Hello aviators, welcome to my instrument rating video series. I'm Ty Jones, your error nerd, bringing you honest experience, reviews, training tips that will help you aviate, navigate, and communicate. Now, if you're new here, the purpose of this video series is to bring you free, in-depth instrument ground school training for you instrument pilots. This is the same exact training and instructions that I normally give to my students. And if you're one of my students that are watching, yes, you can use this as a review because this is literally the same exact instructions that I give in the same exact way. Um, and it has been proven to work. So without further ado, let's jump right into the training. All right, instrument pilots, you made it to episode number five. This session we're going to be talking about low IFR charts. Now I can't really do it here on the board so I'm going to actually switch the camera to the online or on my computer and then I can walk you through uh, from there. So a key thing here is not to try to memorize anything in aviation period dot end of story. Whether if you're going from private, instrument, commercial, instructor, doesn't matter. Just know where to find the information. It is impossible to try to memorize everything right everything it's impossible there's too much information out there but know where to find the information whether if it's ifr charts or especially in the sectional okay what does this mean well i don't really know well that's why the faa put a legend right there on the chart the same thing for ifr charts okay so starting out with a google search i'm actually going to type in sky vector and normally when you click that that's going to be the very first the very first link is normally going to give you the that link to sky vector if you're using google for your search now when you when you uh, uh, when you first go on here um, it's going to automatically default to the VFR chart but we're not really interested in this what we're look interested in is the IFR so we're gonna go up here and I'll, I'll click my mouse up here so you can see where my mouse is at oh, let me zoom back out here um, so world low so this is going to trans um, change this from VFR to uh, IFR and this is what we're going to be interested in right here and you can zoom out and you can see the entire world in IFR right here. Now the difference between VFR charts and IFR charts is VFR charts is oriented in true north and low IFR charts are actually oriented in magnetic north so you don't have to do that variation calculation where east is least and west is best you don't really have to do that for IFR charts now I'm not gonna have this video 40 minutes 50 minutes long by telling you what each and every single one of these things is just how just like I mentioned before when I started out with this video it's don't try to memorize this stuff just know where to find this information so let's zoom in here and we got this R right here. Hmm, what does that mean? Or where does 68 with the box, uh, the box mean? What is this little airport? This green airport. Uh, what what's the what's, what does the brown airport mean? What does all of this symbologies mean? Well, instead of me explaining every single one of these things, oh, the VOR with the line underneath. Huh, what is that? So let's actually stop here and let's go up here to. Uh, let, me, let me zoom in here to in route H. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, low. So this is the high route and this is the low route. So let's go ahead and hit low. What that's going to do is it's going to change what we're looking at into the actual low IFR chart. So if you actually go and buy a low IFR chart at the store, this is the IFR chart right here and you can kind of see how it's like little tilted at an angle that's because it's tilted for magnetic north um, so we can look up here and there's the dates this is always going to be a current IFR chart and the current VFR chart um, if you look at this so it's in you get this stuff for free so you got all of this so oh, oh, what does the Orocas mean oh you can actually read this right here it gives you a nice uh, description of the Orocas you can see all that too. Uh, like I said, if you look over here, where to find the information, let's look over here. And uh, this tells you everything you need to know right here on the chart, on the legend. The FAA wants, this to, wants you to find this very, very easy. Remote communication outlets, well, I'll have another video about that, what all this means. 
Um, but the main important thing is to find out where the information is. Now I pointed to, oh, what does that little R mean? There it is right there, the minimum recession altitude. All of this stuff is right here. Now let's look over here to find out a little bit more information on all these restricted areas that are on the charts. Oh, you can find all that stuff right here. So we got this and we got a effective altitude. So for trying to find, find information on the restricted area 2901 Bravo. Oh, it's at effective altitude is at 14,000 feet. Oh, but we have a little star too. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, let's just scroll down here. Or let's just look on the bottom here if my computer works right here. And there it is, they got it right there. So, but two, but not including flight level 18,000 feet. So that's Alpha Airspace, and what about? Let me see. Let's 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 keep on going here. Uh, oh, what is? What about these? What are these little symbols right here? That's weird. Those little symbols, because you see these a lot in the in the chart supplements. Oh, if you look right up here, hey, look at that right there. During periods of daylight saving time, because we know daylight saving time changes uh, twice per year. So instead of them having to keep changing these times over and over and over again, they just decided, Hey, let's put this little symbol right there. So we don't have to keep changing this every time we have daylight savings. So that's what that symbol is for. But you have all this other stuff up here too. So P is prohibited. R is restricted. W warning. So we got all these R's right here. All oh, these are all restricted. Let's see if we have any other, um, Oh, there we go. We have all these W's for warning areas. Uh, a for alert areas all of this good stuff is going to be right here for you to find if you go to Google search you can find the IFR low legend chart and you can actually print this legend out by itself and you can probably bring this to your check ride um, just make sure it is from an FAA source and I'm pretty sure your examiner will not have any issues if you bring this uh, to the check ride because as I said before don't try to memorize any of this stuff it'll come just naturally but when you're first starting out don't try to memorize it but just know where to find it and real quick I wanted to go over the world view far really quick and to show you the same thing, um, this still works with the VFR charts as well. Let's say I want to know about uh, what frequency is at, uh, for this practice area right here. So here's Daytona Beach, there's Flagler, here's Ormond Beach right here. We got this alert area 2903. And I want to know what frequency is I need to tune to to, go, to get in here, as well as all the other symbologies on here. So if I go up here, I, I'm zooming in here. Over here, you'll see the sectional right over here. So I'll click Jacksonville because this is the Jacksonville sectional. Now I switch to World VFR to the sectional chart. So if I zoom out a little bit, and if you go and buy the sectional, this is exactly what you're going to see. And look right up here. We got the sectional legend right here. Every single thing you need to know is right here. It's all right there. Everything. Um, but let me go back to the original question I had. So what would two nine or three? Let me go back to the. Oh, let me go back down here. Here's Jacksonville. All right. So a two nine or three. What frequency do I need to tune to, tune to to talk to the, everybody in this alert area? So it's a high volume area. It's going to be wise to go down there. So I go down to the bottom, and I go to the alert areas. Let me go down here. There's oh, there it is okay a 293 right here and it's from the surface up to 4,000 feet and there's the hours of operation and there it is right here there's the frequency 12285 so well, that's where I find that that information right there as well as the prohibited areas a lot of prohibited areas but they may not be from from the surface all the way up to space like for example here's a prohibited area right here and it goes from the ground two but not including 3,000 so if you're at 3,500 well guess what you can fly right over p50 and let's see where where is p50 yeah let's um let's zoom out here and i believe it is right uh oh there right there there is p50 right here so this is this area is right here is prohibited so if you're flying from let's say uh jacksonville and you want to go straight up here to let's say um, Jackal Island, you're probably going to be flying over this area right here. But if you're at 3,500, 4,000, 
or 4,000 or 5,000, you, you don't have to worry about that. So that's another area, that's another place you can look at to find out um, more information on the sectional. And there's also another source where you can find information too, which is the aeronautical chart users guide and the FAA does provide this for you so if you click here this is the aeronautical chart users guide it, it will start off it will start out um, on the VFR charts all of this stuff will be on the in so your introduction carol color variation all this all this good stuff but we're not interested in the VFR so here's all the VFR terms the colors and all that good stuff but if we scroll down to page we're on page uh, what page are we on? We're on page 14 and let's go to let's scroll down here to page 59 so I'm gonna scroll down here to 59 I believe it's right around here let's see 57 oh that's pretty close here we go so explanation of IFR in route terms now everything beyond here is going to be the IFR low chart legend on steroids this will give you an uh, in-depth explanation on every single thing that you see in the low IFR chart low and high uh, IFR charts now the very nitty-gritty uh, in explanations that may not be on that IFR low legend will be on here with an in-depth explanation uh, so I'm gonna scroll down here so here's all the different altitudes that you can read about uh, what the T means, what the um, on the on the routes, what all these symbologies mean, the Arocas. Uh, on I know on the uh, on the description on the low IFR chart, it's not as descriptive as all of all of this right here. So you can definitely check this out. So I'm going to quick scroll through here, so you can see. I'm going to go down here, for example. Um, Here's all Canadian. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it really goes in depth with a lot of this stuff. So this is another source of information I highly recommend you pay a visit to, and just go through this material. Now it also goes into the instrument approach plates. We will cover this in a, another video. Uh, I believe it's actually the next video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, instrument pilot, so that sums it up for the low IFR charts. Now, the key thing again is to make sure you know where to find the information. Let the memorization come naturally. Don't try to force the memorization in there. Just know where to look. I'll do another video on the TPP as well as the chart supplement because there's a lot of information in there as well that can also help you in your instrument rating uh, especially when it comes to the check ride. The next video I'm going to be going over approach plates and to help you how to brief your approach plates while you're flying in the air uh, and that's going to be in the next video. If you have any questions or if you think I missed anything just put them in the comments below um, but in the meantime always remember to keep flying, keep learning and always have fun. I'll see you guys in the next ground session.